In this video, I will show you how to sew a dart. Darts are small but important details that can make your clothes fit better. Make sure that each one is sewn well and uh, blend seamlessly into your project. Because if it's not done correctly, this small detail has the potential to ruin your entire garment. Hi, I am Olga from hbury.com. If you're enjoying the content so far, uh, hit the subscribe button below so you will be notified about new videos every week. I hope you find them useful and informative. First, let me show you how to transfer darts from a pattern. Transferring darts from a pattern to your fabric isn't difficult, but it is an important first step in the process of how to sew darts. There are a few ways to transfer darts onto fabric. For example, I needed to transfer double point waist darts when I was making my summer dress. Uh, by the way, I have a tutorial on my site on how to sew this dress and make a pattern with your own measurements. Remove the majority of your pins from the fabric, but uh, leave the two layers of fabric and the pattern pinned together in some places, so the pattern doesn't move. Stick a few pins through all layers in the points of the dart and dart's legs. Now flip the fabric so the pattern is on the bottom and the fabric is on top and uh, mark the spots where you see pins. Next, flip the fabric back and then lift up the paper pattern and mark the darts on the fabric under the pattern in the spots where the pins are. I prefer a disappearing ink pen for marking darts. Draw the darts on both pieces of fabric using the markings. Now let me show you how to transfer the bus darts onto the fabric. First of all, Clip the ends of the dart and then mark the dart's point with a pin through all layers. Again mark the dart's points on both front pieces of the dress. Remove the pattern and draw the dart legs. This method is working the best with straight darts. If you need to transfer curved darts, you better use a different method. You can transfer darts easily using a tracing wheel. I have a tutorial on how to use a tracing wheel and carbon paper to mark darts on the fabric. It's important to mark darts so you know where to sew them. A good way for beginners is to use the dressmaker's tracing paper and tracing wheel technique. So follow this process. Put a cutting mat or piece of cardboard down to protect your table. Put the carbon paper on the bottom with the marking side facing up. Then place the fabric folded with right sides together on top of the paper with the wrong side of the fabric facing the carbon paper. Slip another sheet of carbon paper on top of the fabric with the carbon side against the wrong side of fabric. Next, place your paper pattern on top of the fabric. Uh, with your tracing wheel, 
Mark all the lines of the dart. Make sure to press down hard enough to get clear marks on your fabric. You can read more about using a tracing wheel and carbon paper in my tutorial Tracing Wheel in Sewing, what it is and how to use it. After you have transferred darts onto your fabric, snip the fabric at the dart legs, right at the base of the dart. Once you have marked your dart, you will need to pin the fabric in place. The goal of pinning darts is to match the dart legs together so that the center line runs through the apex. So follow this process. Turn the fabric so that the right side is down, so the markings you made are visible. Pinch the legs at the widest part of the dart together. Check to make sure that the legs match up to each other on both sides. Place the first pin somewhere below the apex. Place pins one at a time starting at the widest part of the dart. Make sure that the heads of the pins are pointed toward the apex of the dart. That will make the pins easier to remove as you sew from the base of the dart over the apex. Or you can baste the dart by hand sewing using thread. The process of sewing darts varies slightly depending on the type of dart you are making. Let me show you how to sew straight darts first. So, orient your fabric. You want the bulk of your project on your left. The wide part of the dart should be facing away from you, while the dart apex is toward you. The pin heads are toward you also, so you can easily pull them out. Do a few back stitches to secure the seam before you begin stitching. Stitch along the drawn dart leg. Use a straight stitch with a standard length of 2.5 mm for lightweight or medium weight fabrics or 3 mm for heavyweight fabric and um, remove any pins as you sew. Continue stitching of the edge. When you get near the point of the dart, change the stitch length to 1.5-2 mm, but it's not mandatory, and uh, sew very close to the folded edge of the fabric. Continue forward stitch 2 or 3 stitches right into the fold of the fabric and then sew off the end of the fabric. Do not back stitch because it will create bulk and uh, this will cause your dart to pucker. Leave long thread tails so you can tie them off. And the last step, tie off your thread. Pull the fabric out of the machine and simply tie the thread twice or three times and cut the thread. Sometimes you might need to change a straight dart to a slightly curved one near the apex. It may help to sew darts properly on tightly woven or stiff fabric. Darts should smoothly end at the apex without forming an angle. And to achieve this, curve the sides of the dart slightly so they will be smoother at the apex. And uh, now let's talk about sewing double point darts. Uh, double point darts are essentially two straight darts that are joined at their widest edges. Sewing these darts is just a little trickier than a standard straight dart, because you should begin sewing the dart in the middle where the widest point is.
and uh, after that go back to the middle of your dart leg where you stitched before flip the fabric so the bulk of your project is still to your left and uh, stitch about half an inch over your previous stitching in the other direction only until you sew off the end of the fabric at the second dart apex there are a few special instances where you will need to slightly alter the process as i have uh, described before for example if you sew darts into thick fabric cut the dart open with scissors before pressing to reduce the bulk leave about half an inch of the fabric not cut next if you are creating a very wide dart you might cut out some of the fabric in the middle to make a cutaway dart and reduce the bulk if the fabric is likely to fray consider overlocking the edge to prevent that it's also very important to press da press darts correctly how to do it you should use a tailor's ham but this video is getting too long so go to my tutorial on my site and uh, check the info on pressing darts there i put the link under this video in the description so if you have enjoyed this video please share it go ahead and subscribe now do it right now if you haven't done that already. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you real soon.